Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. To get us started Ladies with the official introduction, we go inside of the veteran the voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Big Daddy! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it free. striker taking on a true five tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Big kick land. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice strike. What 
a body kick. Oh! Look at the turnover in that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Just over three minutes now to go. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that's a good right hand. Real quick leg kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Nice kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Good is that right hand. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, nice. Powerful leg kick lands. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Big kick lands. Oh, man. Snapped his head back with the uppercut. There. You can see him throw his entire body into that uppercut. in a single collar tie here. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Final seconds here. Round two winding down. Stop, stop, stop. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Lee's shot is blocked. And he caught the kicks. Left hand punch to the clinch. Beautiful strike.
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable. Oh. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about one. He's got a very bad mistake. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Leg kick. So once again, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Oh, he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Nice leg kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Huge block there. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Just out of range with that strike. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. All 
right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Just misses there with the left. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Pretty significant well to the left side. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Timely defense there. It was a good night if that landed. And now, the ground and pound starts. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. That shot blocked by Lee. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big leg kick land. Well placed with the kick. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. A little cut below that left eye. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking. Distance gets the single collar tie. Nice straight punch. Lands with the left. 15 seconds remain in the round. Right on the button. Lands with the right hand. 
tricky thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice no, no, kick there no. by Lee. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Nice kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Able to check that kick as well. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Great punch landed with so much power. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Checks that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Nice body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, huge spinning kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Big huh? kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Real nice body. Lee's circling to his right. Big kick land. minute now of round four. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just missed on that spinning attack. Nice punch lands over the top. 
Oh, a huge block there. Nice shot to the body there. 30 seconds to go. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Wow! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He has a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Ten seconds to go in round four. Oh, oh. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number four. Declared the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! Well, there he is, the man of the hour, and you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down on the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing. What is perfect on me? I've been overworking for weeks. I go home and purchase some things that I know will not fill my needs. I have a dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome and I critique who I am and what I believe make up standards too high to reach. I'm trained animal, I'm police, I'm in panic, but yet we'll leave a bunch of hammock to hang with me.